guys welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for joining me on today's video so today i'll be showing you different <laughs> hey guys welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for joining me on today's video today i'll be showing you different hairstyles that you can wear to work and these are easy hairstyles they're simple they don't require you to have any definition on your curls and they will only take you 10 to 15 minutes in the morning to prepare so i hope you enjoy so for this hairstyle you'll start by dividing your hair into two sections all the way to the back of your head so i'll start with this smaller section and first i'm spraying a mixture of water and coconut oil and that's only because my hair had a lot of product in it so i preferred not to use any products in this hairstyle but you can apply any curling cream or leave-in just to moisturize your hair and then use a brush a soft brush to detangle and brush that section the next step is to flat twist and you just take a section of your hair at the front and divide it into two sections and then twist those two sections and the one that's the section that's on the lower part is the one that you keep adding hair to. In case my explanation is not clear enough, I'll leave a link in the description box down below uh, on a video about flat twisting. This flat twist doesn't have to be too tight but at the same time don't make it too loose so that it's neat and presentable. So if you're trying out any of these hairstyles for the first time, I would advise that you practice the day before or maybe during the weekend just to make sure you know what you're doing. And they're easy but sometimes it can get overwhelming especially when you're preparing yourself to go to work in the morning. So after you're done flat twisting this section, the next part is to twist the remaining part of the hair and then you secure it with a pin, a bobby pin, so that it doesn't unravel as you do the next section. So it's important for you to moisturize your hair before manipulation and that will make the whole process much easier and reduce breakage or any tangles.
so I'm using bobby pins to secure these two flat twists in the opposite direction and just make sure the bobby pins are not visible. For option 2 you can also tie these two flat twists together to form a bun and you'll have a different look. This next hairstyle is somewhat similar to the first one only that it's much simpler because you don't need to flat twist your hair. Make sure you roll small sections of hair each at a time as compared to all of it at the same time just to make sure you have a more elaborate roll. So after you're done make sure you don't let go of that section. You can secure it with a pin just to make sure it doesn't unravel. Then next you'll just tie those two sections together and then form a bun. So for this next hairstyle, I'm starting with dividing my hair into two sections, the upper section and the lower section, and this will help with getting that sleek low ponytail. So I chose to do a middle part, you can also do a side part or leave it just the way it is. And to get that sleek clean look, I'll apply Eco Gel. So because this is a hairstyle for work, I'll try to make this low puff a little bit more neat. That's why I'm patting it down so that I somehow tame that puff. You can also tie a satin or silk scarf to make sure that gel sets. It's all about that clean look. You can also add an extension for your puff and in a future video, I'll show you how you do that. So for a different option, I'm braiding this back part of my hair so that I form a bun. You can also twist it up. It's just giving you more options when it comes to styling. So I didn't know what to call this next hairstyle, but it's kind of vintage. And I promise it's really good, so keep watching. So for most of these hairstyles, you'll need a hairbrush, but if you can't find one, you can improvise like me and use just a normal soft shoe brush to make sure you get that neat look. And this brush was only 50 shillings. So for this front section, I'm dividing it into two smaller sections and then forming bantu knots so that I get some, some definition.
You can also prepare this hairstyle the day before. So again, because this is a hairstyle for work, it's important to try and tame that puff. So another simple method of taming your puff, um, just tying down the puff inside this silk scarf and then patting it down. You can also sleep this way if you prepare the hairstyle the day before and then in the morning you just take it out and undo your bantu knots. You can see that this puff is now more tamed and you can just shape it the way you want. So definition is not really necessary but if you prepare this hairstyle the day before you'll have much more definition which is optional it just depends on what you want and then just use bobby pins to pin that section of hair to get that vintage look so this was my favorite hairstyle it came out looking better than i thought it would but you can comment in the comment section down below and tell me which hairstyle you liked the most thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful and don't forget to like to comment and share with your friends also don't forget to subscribe it helps support my channel so see you in the next video bye